Today is May 1st. It's also Bellantine, in which is on May 1st. It's a fire festival. It marks the significance of the beginning of summer. It's pagan, it's Celtic polytheism, Celtic neopaganism, Wiccan, and just pagan. Um, it, Scalic May Day Festival, most commonly it's held on May 1st or about halfway through the spring equinox in the summer solstice. Historically, it's widely observed through Ireland and Scotland, the Isles of Man. The Irish name for the festival is La Bellantaine, Scottish Gaelic La Bellantaine, and Manx Gaelic La Ha Bonantoni Bodolin. Now, I might, I'm not exactly sure that's the exact pronunciation and I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong. It is one of the four Gaelic season festivals along with Samahan, Imbolic, Langishahan, and what the Welsh call Kalan Mai. Ballantine is mentioned in some of the earliest Irish literature and is associated with important events in Irish mythology. It's marked the beginning of summer and when the cattle were driven out into the summer pastures. Rituals were performed to protect the cattle, crops, and people and encourage growth. Special bonfires were kindled and their flames and smoke or ashes were deemed to have protective powers. Their people and their cattle would walk around the bonfire between the two bonfires and sometimes leap over the flames or embers. All household fires would be doused and then relit from, from the Bellantine fires. These gatherings would be accompanied by a feast some of the food and drink would be offered to OSI. Doors and windows, buyers and cattle would be decorated with yellow mayflowers, perhaps because it invoked fire. In parts of Ireland, people would make maybush, a thorn bush decorated with flowers, ribbons, and bright shells. Holy wells were visited while Bellantine Dew was sought to bring beauty and maintain usefulness. Many of these customers were part of the midday or midsummer night festivals in other parts of Great Britain and Europe. Bellantine celebrations have largely died out in the mid 20th century, although some of the customs have continued in some places and have been revisited as a cultural event. Since the late 20th century, Celtic, Neo Pagans, and Wiccans are observed Bellantine or something based on it as a religious holiday. Neo Pagans in Southern Hemisphere often celebrate Bellantine and other end of the year around November 1st. Thank you for listening. I wanted to bring this little tidbit to you. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you liked it, hit the little like button down at the bottom. And thank you for listening.